3.1c, one-step equations, division principle. Remember, we can do anything to, an, to both sides of an equation. In this case, we'll be looking at the division principle. To undo multiplication of factors, we do the opposite once again, and the opposite of multiplication is to divide it from both sides. It is very important, once again, to show all of your work. As you can see in example one, we have 7x equals 147. As you can tell, there's a 7 and an x. Remember that if there's no symbol between two things, that it automatically means multiplication, which means this is saying 7 times x equals 147. In order to solve an equation for a variable, we must get the variable alone. To get this variable alone, we are going to do the opposite of this multiplication, and we are going to divide both sides by a 7. When you have 7 divided by 7, you get a 1. When I have 1x, I can write that as just x. Remember that 1x is the same thing as x. 147 divided by 7 is 21. Remember, if you cannot see this right away, you can always write the second number out front, the other number inside, and do the division. 7 goes into 14 twice, giving you 14, and then 7 goes into 7 once. Therefore, our answer is x equals 21. Now, if you would like to check this, you may also do this in this type of problem. To check, you do the same thing. You put a parenthesis where the x was in the original equation, and then you place the 21 in that spot. When you do 7 times 21, you get 147 equals 147. Since this is true, we know our answer is correct. This is sometimes helpful if you are not sure if you did your division properly. In example two, we have negative 8x equals 72. In this example, remember there is no symbol between the number and the letter, which means that it is multiplication. To undo multiplication, remember to do the opposite of multiplication, which would be to divide. If I divide, I need to divide by the same number, meaning divide by negative 8. Remember, you are always dividing by the same number, so that when you divide negative 8 divided by negative 8, you get the number 1. When we have 1x, that means we have x. 72 divided by 8, when we first just divide the numbers, we get 9. And then we have a positive divided by a negative, which is a negative. This means our answer is x equals negative 9. Once again, you can check your answer by writing the original problem with parentheses for the variable, and then placing the value you found for x in that parenthesis. Negative 8 times negative 9 is a positive 72. And since positive 72 equals 72, we would say that this is true, and our answer is x equals negative 9. Remember in doing one-step equations that require division, that you divide by the same number because you are trying to get a 1. The only way to get a 1 is to divide a number by itself. In the case of a positive number as seen in the first one, 7 divided by 7 equaled 1. In example 2, we had a negative 8. We had to divide by a negative 8 in order to get 1.